This is another project I've been working on. It's a uh, DIY overflow. I was playing with the idea of using an overflow box, um, but I kind of like this better because it uses a lot less uh, space, uh, wastes a lot less um, less water displacement, and all that. And um, it was really super easy to make. I mean, I couldn't have asked for anything easier. Um, it's just made about made of about I don't know maybe six bucks worth of PVC parts, if that. Uh, the most expensive part, which I haven't added yet, is the glue. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. This is just the sump that I put it on because the sump is the same dimension. Sorry for the messy house as the tank there. Um, so if everything goes right. Uh, this will just fit right on the back of the tank and be an overflow. From what I hear, they're super nice and quiet, um, work really well, never lose suction. Even if power goes out, um, they still stay filled with water, and as soon as your return pump starts pumping back into the display tank, the suction is still there. So I'm going to test it out. I'll probably videotape uh, it being tested out. I'll probably test it on a bucket. Uh, since I don't really want to be testing it on the main display tank and this deal is still curing and uh, I still have some silicone work to do with that guy. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we are all glued or cemented and, and ready. Uh, I didn't cement anything past, well you can kind of see where it's kind of discolored past this joint. Everything below that is not cemented. Uh, that is actually how I'm going to be able to remove this if I ever want to. Just give it kind of a twist there. Kind of tough to do with one hand. There we go. And off it comes. Uh, you know, if I ever need to move the tank, it's probably not going to be moving too much, but you never know. Uh, this is going to get uh, some nice coats, everything underwater, so basically everything past this joint right here is going to be getting the nice uh, blue, like the background, everything after this joint, so, you know, basically everything that I glued uh, will be getting a nice glossy black to match the top. Uh, I also didn't glue or cement I can do this. Well, okay. This right here is not cemented for now. Uh, the reason being, I'm not 100% sure in my air vent right here. That's to vent the air. You need that for the suction um, and to kind of help with the gurgling sound. Uh, I'm not for sure that this piece doesn't need to be longer. So I'm going to go ahead and test it out. If it does need to be longer, I'll make it longer. I'll make sure it's working. I don't imagine that this is going to need to be uh, uh, cemented because it really shouldn't be getting much water. Um, but, you know, if, if it works, I might just cement it because at the same time, I'm really not going to have any reason to uh, ever <clears throat> remove it. So that's that for now. Oh, I, uh, oh, let's, uh, let's pause it here. So after making the video for adding, having added the ball valve to the spray bar, uh, which is over there, there's my puppy again, um, I realized that the most important thing that needed a, uh, a ball valve was the overflow. Uh, basically, it, it, the, that one needs the ball valve if you ever need to turn your um, electricity off or your, your pumps off, such as when you're feeding or something like that, uh, you are going to want to be able to turn this off. Now, it's not going to be a travesty uh, if you don't turn it off. Uh, the water, once it gets below, um, as you can see, once it gets below that uh, pipeline, the water's just going to stop um, flowing down. Uh, not a huge deal, uh, but it, I, I kind of like, uh, what is it, oh, I think it was like three, three bucks and some change 
Uh, for that amount of money, I was able to add that piece. I, I bought two when I went to Lowe's today anyhow. Uh, so, you know, I figured for that small sum of money, um, I'll be able to turn uh, all water flow off uh, as, as needed. So, there's that. I'm probably going to add some tubing. I haven't decided if I want to uh, use up the PVC that I have. I still have probably four feet left, uh, maybe a little less. Uh, I don't know if I want to buy some tubing to go into the overflow, uh, but we'll see. You'll see what I decide once, uh, once that decision is made. So one final thing we've added here is an aquarium check valve. Um, you can get this thing, I think it was three bucks at uh, Walmart. And uh, you want to drill a hole right where the water first overflows. So when it overflows out of the tank, uh, three sixteenths of an inch, uh, three sixteenths of an inch drill bit. And then, you know, just be careful that you drill all the way through the pipe, but, you know, not through the other side. And basically what this is for, we're going to silicone it in. Uh, you want to make sure you have a nice airtight, watertight seal with that silicone there, by the way. Because this is how we're going to prime our pump. When we're trying to get water over, we're just going to take this cap off, uh, pour some water down this tube, and then we're going to put the uh, blue overflow piece back on, let the water flow into there. We're going to put a little piece of airline tube on here and we're going to suck the air out and what's going to happen since it's a check valve we're going to suck the air out, the, the water is going to fill up, it's going to start flowing over uh, but this is not going to allow air back in there so, uh, so your suction should never be lost. Um, if for whatever reason your suction is lost, if air gets sucked in from, I don't know, a bubble blower or something that you probably shouldn't really even have, but uh, whatever, if, if something like that happens, you can just pop another piece of airline tube on here, suck it out, suck the air out again with a syringe or your mouth or some sort of suction, and you're back in business. So here we are all siliconed in. Gonna wait 24 hours for it to dry. Um, should work just fine. Uh, it does detract a little bit from the black, but I don't mind it. It's uh, it's nice and blue. I happen to be able to find it in a blue color, so uh, it's it's fine with me. Uh, you could conversely do this step before you paint everything and then spray paint it all. I kind of like that the arrow is still there in case I have anybody coming over that needs to check the tank out or if I'm out of town or whatever. It's a little easier to explain. Um, conversely, the other thing you could do, you'd have to drill a hole somewhere in here or lead a pipe out. This piece isn't necessary, it just kind of finishes it off and looks nice. But uh, anyway, you'd have the pipe running down, a piece of airline tubing running down all the way here, and then glue it on the inside. Uh, where my finger is. You'd have to do that before you welded everything together, uh, sealed everything together. Uh, I didn't take that route because if something goes wrong with that, it's a lot harder to fix, in my opinion, than, uh, than this one. So this is the route I took, but, um, you know, obviously there's a couple changes you can do, which I kind of quickly went over, but uh, looks good for now. Gonna wait 24 hours and then it should be ready to go onto the tank.